Okay, in this video, I've used an unstable multi vibrator as the clock input to a D flip flop. So, in previous videos, I've built a D flip flop using NAND gates, and in this video, what I've actually done is the exact same thing. I'm not going to actually go into it, but I've, what I've done is using this chip here, which is a NAND, uh, it's sorry, not a NAND, it's a D flip flop chip, it's a CD4013BE chip. And on that I have four D flip flops. So what I've done is I have uh, made an unstable multi vibrator, which you can find out how to make in a, in a previous video. This is the exact unstable multi vibrator I used. And separately I wired another chip, like I said, this D flip flop chip up here. And what I've done is so this is the unstable multi vibrator. I've taken an output from we'll say this base and from well say this base the base here and from that base I use that as the clock input for my uh, for my D flip flop. So what I have here this green unattached wire is D. So the clock pulses as you can see I'm getting a square wave here so it's on and off on and off on and off and as a result the the uh, D flip flop is off the square wave is, is, is working and the clock pulse is coming in and it, the output is following the input so the output is low because the input is low so when I put the input high when I put the input high it uh, the output goes high input low, output low now what I'd like you to notice if you can is that the output isn't changing state immediately it's actually changing state after I switch and the reason that is it has to wait for the square wave pulse to come in on the clock before it'll switch now also when you're building this there's another point to note I used a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer here as I do with all my uh, all my chips in order to regulate the voltage going into them now what I noticed was, and let's turn this off again actually, if I turn down, if I turn down my uh, potentiometer, not letting much through, you can see that the output is flashing as well. Okay, there's a good example there. So what's happening is my clock square wave pulse is actually affecting my output and it looks like I've set the thing up wrong and initially I thought I did that but in actual fact it's just because there isn't enough power going into my chip for it to get um, we'll say a, a stable output so what I need to do then is just reduce the resistance going into my chip therefore increasing the increasing the voltage and as you can see eventually I'm actually getting a proper one I'm just going to turn down a good bit now the flashing is starting to stop starting to stop, it's almost stopped now the flashing is completely stopped so I now actually have a 1 0 1 0 that is how you make a D flip flop clocked by an unstable multi vibrator 